Hello! How fun would it be to do this ballerina painting tutorial for beginners and get to paint a nutcracker as well? Check out my painting tutorial class coming right up! On this channel, I do painting tutorials for beginners and for artists who want to do something different. What are you doing, Fufu? <sighs> oh my God. I also do art supply reviews and I give you ideas for your artist in your, in your life. This is Hope and she just wouldn't stop crying so I have, I have to hold her for this little bit of my video. But listen, if, I, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button below and uh, don't forget to hit that little bell so you get my notifications. Heard that? Yes. As always, I give you a list of all the painting materials I use to create this painting and they're right in the description below. So don't forget to check that out and let's get started. This is what you're going to need to paint today. These are my brushes. You'll see the sizes in the description below. I'm using a red pen for tracing, a cup of water, paper towels or a rag. These are my acrylics. So our colors are white, gold, red, yellow. We have copper, rose gold, blue, and black. So today I'm painting on an 11 by 14 canvas, but you can use a smaller canvas like eight by 10. Print your stencil and you should have a piece of tracing paper that you slide underneath and make sure you go over all your lines very carefully and before you remove your um, your stencil and tracing paper just lift your papers and see that all your lines are there so dip your inch and a half brush in water and you're going to pick up some just a little corner of brown and bring it in the middle in some white paint and just going to work the brown through and the goal here is to have a little bit of strikes, so it's okay if you don't mix the entire uh, brown color into the, the white. So just re repeat re and, and add a little bit more brown to get the little streaky effect. Cover your entire background with brush strokes up and down. You can apply a second coat to give it a little bit more of a opaque color. Now grab your small flat brush, it's actually a medium flat brush, and grab just a little bit of brown paint mixed with some white. Now what we want to do is create a little bit more of a kind of wood-like texture for the background. So just do some brush strokes with a little bit of paint, not too much. Now take your inch and a half brush again, remove the excess paint and just brush over it lightly to blend. Now what we want to create here is like a bark effect almost. So just add a little bit more of those brush strokes going up and down. Just light brush strokes and then use your brush, the same brush to make uh, just little dots with the dark paint mixed with some white. Just press your brush stroke down and create a few dots here and there, very loosely. You do a line, then you add a, a dot by pressing down your brush stroke. Grab your inch and a half brush again, remove the excess paint on it, and just brush lightly over it just to create a nice blurry effect. You can repeat this step until you're happy with your background. Now we're gonna start um, working a little bit on the outside of the canvas, kind of the border of it. We're gonna use our flat one inch brush and grab some copper 
paint, the metallic copper, and load your brush really well. But what you're gonna do is lean your brush onto the corners, the four corners of your painting. So the two sides going up and down, and you're gonna also do the same thing on the top and on the bottom. Now you're gonna load your brush again and do uh, brush strokes back and forth to create the beginning of her shadow. So you start at her foot, at her belly, at little belly shoe, and just kind of sweep back and forth to create the shadow. Load, load your brush again, and we're gonna do the little nutcracker shadow. So sweep back and forth. You can use a smaller brush if you prefer. I kind of like the larger brush, but it's up to you. Load your brush again. And we're gonna just do some texturing in the background. So just do some brush strokes from the top going down and from the bottom of the canvas going up. And lift your paintbrush so that you don't have a sharp ending to it, but a soft kind of wispy effect. So I hold my brush very lightly. And now I don't rinse my brush and I'm gonna just mix my copper and metallic rose. So my rose gold and my copper creates a really nice color for the border. So I'm actually doing all the sides. Now we're going to create a darker brown with black, blue, and red. This color is gonna serve to do all the outlines. So you're gonna grab your small brush and we're gonna do all the outlines until uh, our ballerina is, is nice and visible for us to paint. So I start with her hair, the two little buns on top of her hair. I really like that. She's very playful and has a fun look. So be sure not to have too much paint on the tip of your paintbrush and you can lean your hand on your canvas if it's dry. If your canvas is not dry, you can use a blow dryer to go a little faster. And by leaning your hand, it's just a little bit easier to do your outlines. But take your time and you can actually pause the video and create all your outlines or just follow along and pause when you need to. Now I'm gonna do the outside of her face. So just very lightly go around her face, creating the little earring right there. And I'm gonna do the rest of the chin. If you do a mistake, no worries. You can use a paper towel and wipe over it a little bit. Continuing the outlines. Let's do her skirt. I do my brush strokes very loosely and it's totally fine if you see some of the grain of the canvas. It's part of the charm of this painting. Now I do the other arm who's reaching for her magical nutcracker. Make sure to have a nice little cup of tea or your favorite, your favorite beverage and uh, stay hydrated. So I'm not gonna do the lines inside the skirt. I did one right there, but I stopped because I wanna put the paint before. Now I'm doing the eyes. When I apply paint on the tip of my paintbrush, I make sure to 
remove the excess paint. So it's very fine. The tip has just a tiny bit of paint. See right there? Always have a little bit of paper towel to wipe the excess paint. Now I'm creating the color for the dress. So it's a nice medium blue. I'm adding some blue inside the white. Mix it real well. I'm using my small flat brush. I'm applying the paint in a fan motion, going from the base, the top of her skirt, kind of following the shape like a, a fan, outlining the bottom, and then do brush strokes to fill in from the top to the bottom of her skirt. Then I outline the top, do a brush stroke, kind of rounded, outline the bottom follow the shape, follow a nice outline, and then just fill in with, load your brush with more paint. I'm applying thick coats, but also I'm leaving a little bit of the background showing, just for a little transparency almost. Now I do the top. I'm using my uh, medium flat brush, but you could switch to a smaller brush or even an angle brush would work as well, but you don't have to. I'm grab some white and I'm just light, lightening up the blue. So I'm, I'm doing a one shade lighter. So just grab some white and just don't press too hard on your canvas so that you apply the paint going over the color we just did. This doesn't need to dry. You can just do it as we go. And it's okay to pick up some of the color underneath. I'm gonna create just little highlights here and there in her top. Now I'm just creating some highlights at the bottom of her skirt. Creating some texture and just very loosely going, following the outline. Now I'm using my round brush. This is a medium round brush. I'm just picking up white and a little bit of gold. I'm gonna do a color for the top of her dress. So I want to apply that gold with a little bit of white so it has some opaque to it. And I'm just filling the whole top of her outfit. I'm gonna also pick up a little more paint and put some of that gold in her skirt. Again, we're just continuing to add texture and make her dress really fun and interesting. I'm using my tiny brush, pick up a little bit of white and mixing a little bit of red. So I'm creating a bright pink. I'm using that pink and I bring it into my copper, my metallic copper. And that's gonna be her blush. So I didn't want to just use, I didn't want to use the just pure pink. I wanted to create a little iridescent look to her blush. So that's why I added a little bit of metallic color. So now I'm grabbing a little bit of gold mixed with some rose, metallic uh, rose gold. And I'm doing little dots on the top of her outfit. Just pressing my little brush to make the little polka dots. I'm using the same color to do the necklace. So it was the rose gold mixed with gold 
And I did those polka dots and I'm doing the scarf. It's kind of a necklace that looks like with ribbons. I want to outline those ribbons with a little bit of brown. So I put a little bit of darker color on my small brush. And I'm just going to go very lightly to outline her necklace ribbon, ribbon necklace. Use very light touches. I'm mixing some of that rose gold again and I'm gonna just continue to put some details in her necklace, a little pearl. And then I'm gonna add some rose gold inside the ribbons. I'm gonna use the same color and do her legs. So you're gonna do the entire, cover the entire area where just underneath the skirt, all the way down to her ballet shoe. So you trace those um, ballet shoes with the laces. They look a little funky right now, but no worries. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna create the shadow and it's, it's gonna kinda take care of all of it. I just kinda simplified them a little bit, so. We're just painting as we go here. We didn't have, I didn't have a practice uh, paint session for this, so things are changing a little bit, but just follow and it's gonna all work out. Now pick up some gold and uh, bring some copper and metallic rose gold in there too, and we're gonna apply it in the background. You can pause the video as often as you need. Just very light touches of gold color with my small brush. Light touches. We don't want to have too much. Grab some red and we're going to do her lips. Very tiny dots until you fill in the areas of her mouth. You really want to stay within the guidelines because it's very easy to get carried away and have too, uh, too big of a mouth. Now I take a little bit of white with a, a, a small amount of brown and I'm going to do some highlights in her hair. I'm grabbing a little bit of gold, tiny, a tiny bit of copper and rose, metallic rose, and I'm going over those highlights to add some dimension in her hair, little red touches. I grab some white paint and I'm doing her ballet shoes. I'm gonna create a few highlights in her stockings and as well. <laughs> right now we're just gonna do the laces, outline them with white. Again, you can pause the video whenever you need to. Add more paint and just just go over it a couple of times just to make sure that they're nice and more visible more of a white just a little crisscross I'm gonna just grab a bunch of paint with my small brush and I'm gonna go in a left and right sweeping motion and load your brush with the rose gold and continue the same uh, sweeping motion. 
and grab some white mix it with a little bit of brown grab a little bit of gold and you're gonna go over the shadow you just did just kind of to blend nicely now I'm gonna do the same thing with the shadow on top this is the nutcracker shadow you can actually hear my cat snoring <laughs> She's right next to me. Grab some gold and go over your brown. We're going to soften that up also with uh, white later. I'm putting a second coat of the rose gold mixed with a little copper for her stockings. I'm doing little touches in the ballet shoes as well. I'm going to probably end up with adding more white paint, but so right now we're just kind of defining the legs and the ballet shoes and laces, just doing little touches here and there. Yeah, I have a cat that snores. Okay, so now you're going to grab some yellow with your small brush. We're starting the belt of our nutcracker. Just paint the belt yellow. Grab some blue mixed with a little bit of white. So it's a medium to dark blue. And fill in the pants. I'm actually darkening my colors just a little bit. I think it was a little too light. I want them to pop. Next one. I grab some gold and we're going to start the shoulders. We're going to paint his top. So we're going around the beard, going all the way down. And then the arms going down as well. Just cover, just paint his, his top, his little uniform. Now, if you want to use red, you're welcome to use red because our classic Nutcracker has a red top and blue pants. I'm mixing some red and gold and I'm going to do his hat. I didn't want to use pure gold because I want to have some iridescence. Okay, now we're going to just darken that color a little bit. So add a tiny bit of brown. Now we're going to darken that red with a little bit of black in it and do the front of the hat a different color. It's a little darker. Now you can paint the little boots brown. I think my music uh, put my cat to sleep. She's snoring like crazy. <laughs> it's funny. We're going to outline our nutcracker. I'm going to mix uh, a color just a little darker. So I'm adding red inside of my black and a little bit of blue. So blue, red, black, and mix that very well. And you're going to get a dark purple. I want to outline my nutcracker with that color. I wouldn't want to use uh, pure black because it's a very harsh kind of pigment. So I always mix my black with other colors. I'm detailing my nutcracker. Take your time. You can pause the video and come back. I rinsed my brush and I went straight into the white to create, uh, to um, start creating his hair. Paint his beard. I'm just grabbing more white. I'm adding a thick coat, a thick coat of white at the end of his hair because I, I kind of want them to flare out. Now I'm kind of, again, putting a second coat into his beard. Clean your brush, grab some brown or actually that outlining color and we're doing his mustache. I grabbed a little bit of 
a little, a little bit more paint and did his eyes. Now rinse your brush, grab some white or a little bit of blue in it, that's fine, and outline the pants to give them a little more dimension. Now I'm grabbing gold for the lines on the side of his pants. A little bit more white, doing those pearly teeth. I'm just doing little dots. I added a little bit more of the dark paint. I'm going back and forth with light and dark, and I'm outlining his mouth. I'm gonna also do a little detailing in his beard. I'm doing the nose, just a little triangle. I'm outlining the hat. Continuing the details in the hat. I grabbed a little bit of white and blue mixed and I'm, I'm pressing down to create the buttons. I'm grabbing some red, those cheeks. Now I'm mixing, I'm grabbing more white and I'm doing the stockings. I'm gonna create little brush strokes going down. and then I'm gonna go across. I do a line going down also just to soften the look of her legs. And I go in with my very tiny brush and go across. Little fishnets. Do the same thing on the other leg and then across. I'm adding a little bit more white on those chaussons de ballet. <laughs> That's French for ballet shoes. By the way, nutcracker in French is casse-noisette. All right, we're adding more white into her skirt. Just little highlights, very spontaneous brush, spontaneous brush strokes. I'm adding white in his beard as well. A little touch up in his hair. I just wanna make that white really stand out. I put a little yellow for his gloves. You could put white. It's actually white, <laughs> sorry white for the gloves. I'm touching up the ballet shoes again just to make a little bit more definition in them, especially the little ribbons. Putting little dots. There we go. I like them to pop and a little outline right there at the front of her foot. There, they look nice. I'm adding a little bit more white paint on those ribbons. Now I wanna put some white in the background. Little dots all over her dress. Little snowflakes. And you're gonna continue with your white paint and just do some brush strokes behind your ballerina. Just kind of fanning out little brush strokes behind her. I just grabbed a little black paint because I want to just outline a little bit more the 
bottom of her top there, just define it a little bit. So you want to have the brush strokes go in a direction like a sun. I'm also going in the shadow just to help with the transition. So I'm just adding white on the bottom shadow and the shadow under the nutcracker. See how the transition is softer? I'm coming back to my nutcracker now. We didn't forget about him. I'm outlining his hat, outlining the hair. side of the hat again. It's coming along nicely. I'm doing it just a little bit of lighter color to on the left side of his hat so it's almost like a reflection makes him shine a little bit. I put some yellow on his sleeves. And I pick up the blue of his pants to outline his sleeves. Now I grab some pure yellow and just dab some paint inside. I'm grabbing more white just to add a little bit of white on her dress again to soften some of those lines. I picked up a tiny bit of blue in that white and half of her face I highlighted with that blue. And I'm using that blue to do the background to add some more of those brush strokes fanning out like a sun. I'm adding blue a little bit everywhere just to highlight. You can add as much as you want. This is a really nice light blue that makes all the colors kind of blend. Came back to his little belt. I forgot the buckle. So just two little lines going down. I'm using the uh, brown color. I picked up a little bit more blue. A little bit more pigment. I add a little bit of blue to the very pale blue so it's just a one shade darker and I don't do too many with that color I just did like four or five little brush strokes here and there I go over it with a little bit of white I guess you can see I had a little water running down but I stopped it with my finger and then I just softened that little brush stroke I'm playing with my background. At this point, you can totally uh, just stop adding the brush strokes. I am done with my painting. I hope you had a lot of fun. We're gonna sign and say goodbye. I really hope you had fun painting our ballerina with our magical nutcracker. If you want more painting videos, you go right here. And if you wanna get more Christmas tutorial videos, the list is right here. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you real soon. Until then, stay creative. Bye.